Yo, what's going on guys? So t this morning I was just getting up and sorting all the cards and then putting everything in their sleeves. Me personally, I like to just sleeve up everything in like these penny sleeves. LATCG is really good. I use this brand ZLCA sometimes too. They're like thicker penny sleeves. They cost more, but they're pretty solid. These are the thinner penny sleeves I'm using right now. So right now what I'm doing is um, just removing like the random sleeves that came on the cards from the shipping process and just, uh, just put them in new sleeves. To me, I just like them in these penny sleeves. Um, and it helps me discern like my cards from other people's because I'm like, yo, my cards are in penny sleeves. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's my card. I mean, that's not gonna say it's my card, but like, like if I'm like, is that my card? I'm like, well, it's in a penny sleeve. I mean, not many people do that. But um, I don't know, it's just something. Not many people do penny sleeves anymore. They're just, I don't know, like I, so, like when y'all look at a binder, right? And it's like, let me see, like, do I even have random sleeves? I, I throw away random sleeves. I do not like random sleeves. No, I actually have a lot of them, but just not an access. Like you see how like a, a random sleeve, random sleeve, See, I unsleeve all my cards. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, so like, uh, like, see, just imagine going through cards and you just like weird sleeve, weird sleeve, weird sleeve. It's like, or you're just looking through a binder and then the binder's like this, like sleeves that don't even match. Um, so me personally, I like to have them just all in penny sleeves. Uh, let me see. This is an improvised video. Like I was, I was gonna start uh, like just sleeving up my cards. I was like, you know, it's an early morning. I don't have nothing to do until like one or two. I'm gonna meet up with some friends, play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Cause it's my off day. It is Sunday. Um, I was like, man, I'm gonna just sleeve up some cards. And then I was like, sheesh, I can make this into a video. Um, yeah, this is pretty much my process. I just like, I buy cards in bulk. Um, or sometimes I just straight up buy on TCG player if I think the cards are undervalued and uh, we just go from there you know yeah so right now I'm just putting all my stuff in penny sleeves you know I was thinking I was like dude this is gonna take forever but then I was like can I like pay someone to do this but like paying someone to do this one costs money Two, potentially they could steal from you. And three, they could possibly damage the card. So I was like, yo, like, like you know, like flipping cards, like running a card business, like, dude, it's like, there's like a lot of work behind the scenes. I'm, I'm sure y'all know, like, just sorting bulk, sleeving bulk. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna sleep every one of these cards, but like, as far as the underworld goddesses and stuff, yeah, like, the Magnifica is no, but the IPs, like stuff like this that I think, like I can sell the mind controls, but like stuff that I could like put in a binder and like probably sell. But like a lot of this stuff I am holding on to for a minute, like the rest of the cards, like the ogres, yeah. Like all this stuff is stuff that could just sit in a 5k, but some of these cards could actually be either put in long-term holds or actually into the short-term sales. <clears throat> so that's just my thought process right now. I have a lot of mourners, I have a lot of ogres. Let me see. Magician souls. All these cards are worthy of sleeving, to be honest with you. But those are long-term cards. Like, I don't plan on selling those anytime soon because they're already in circulation. These, I plan on, like, sleeving and putting these in binders. Like, I have a binder that is full of hand traps. Uh, maybe, like, towards the end of the video, I'll show y'all guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sleeve all these. This is a lot. But the secret ogres and maybe the super ogres. Let me see. Yep. And the IPs. Yep. Uh... The slayers, the goddesses, the illusion of chaos is sheesh, man. Who would have thought we'd see a day when they're like not even worth anything? Let me move over here. Yeah. Yeah, so what do y'all guys think about this angle? I was like, let me just try like a different angle so that like 
the video could be different like oh like i know like certain videos like oh if you're looking at my face on like the side angle it's like it's like you're in the room talking to me so like it makes the video cooler for y'all and like i don't know i was just trying to make a video where like it don't even feel like like it, it just feels like you're chilling in a room with me and i'm sorting cards and you're sorting cards and we're just talking you ever you ever sort cards with your friend like you're just sorting your cards your friend sorting his cards and you're just sitting there just for hours just sorting cards sorting cards but y'all talking you have someone to talk to um that's kind of like what this is so if you just chilling and you, you need someone in the background to just talk you know what i mean about card prices and just thoughts and stuff yeah you came to the right place um let me see i didn't have like a, any like script for this video i was like yo i'm gonna just record and, and put these cards in sleeves and just like discuss why like, i was like dude i could pay someone to do this but i was like i'd have to pay like a highly skilled s sleever like i'm not gonna lie to you man like if you don't know how to sleeve correctly you could damage cards and then that could like affect the money that you invested so uh, i'm gonna sleeve up these cards right here these are all like my qcrs and stuff that shit is crazy seeing them like like all together and stuff. <clears throat> and then some more of the QCRs too. So these are the LATCG sleeves. They're like thin sleeves. Very nice, very a lot of clarity. And then we have like the ZLCA sleeves. And these are like thicker sleeves. Like they're like oh wait, that's not it. Yeah, this one. This is you see the texture on the back? Let me see. LATCG sleeve. Uh, a ZLCA. See, it's a thicker penny sleeve. These are the ones I like, but these are cheaper and more cost effective. But I do have both. But right now, I couldn't find my ZLCAs. I would like to use my ZLCAs. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so, yeah, those are the sleeves I use. Um, my process is very meticulous. Uh, I have like a very high card etiquette. Like, I'm, I'm a savage beast. Like, You'll look at me and you'll see like my hair is like not combed or like it's not like neat or like my clothes aren't neat but like when it comes to cards like i'm very neat with my cards it's freaking hilarious um this is just what i am it's just who i am i don't know <clears throat> sometimes i think about like the reasons why people play cards or why people sell cards like you know like i try to make time out of my day to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Or like do Yu-Gi-Oh activities because you know as a kid I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh like not play Yu-Gi-Oh competitively but like I would read my cards I would play with my cards I would be like I would like I would tell stories of my cards I'm like oh this card uh, this card fought this card and then I, I I beat him so now he's in my team and then we're gonna go fight this card now and like when I was like like 10 11 12 13 years old I would do stuff like that so. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh means a lot to me. Like I'm not just here for like I don't know. I, I enjoy what I'm doing right now. Like I could be like I could be working like at Toyota. I could be working like at wherever. I'm working at McDonald's and making more money than doing this. But I'm just doing it because I like it. Um, pushing the brand, and I know people who actually can relate would listen and chill. You know what I mean? This is chill time with Pedro. I don't hang a lot. I don't hang out a lot with friends because, like, I'm I'm just always busy. I'm always trying to ship stuff. I'm always trying to sort stuff. I'm always trying to like do research on buying stuff. I'm you know what I'm saying like I constantly got to keep doing research because the market is updating and it's not just Yu-Gi-Oh. It's Pokemon. I don't do One Piece, but I try to keep like I try to pay attention to One Piece and all these games so that like I can know if there's like opportunities, you know. In that regards, you got to have like a highly skilled freaking mastermind group of people like one guy's focused on Yu-Gi-Oh, one guy's focused on one piece that's crazy man um <clears throat> so i didn't get my invite to nationals but i was thinking um i still go because it's in austin austin is super close to san antonio and uh, i see everyone there if anyone wants to say hi or what's up maybe play a match maybe record a match i don't know make a video um Yeah, not to be cool. I know, like, the vendors, like, you know how, like, Konami doesn't like people selling cards at the event, but, like, vendors will buy your cards, and you won't get kicked out. But, vent like, the vendors are good. Like, they, they don't pay a lot, but you could, dude, you could take, like, whole totes of cards, like, thousands of cards, and, like, they will sit down and look through your cards. Those guys will not turn you away. So, there's a lot of opportunity to, like, liquidate, like, mass liquidate cards over there. 
I've learned a lot about mass liquidating. Like, there are some cards that are gonna go to like, like let's say Trident Dragon, like, or like it's, it's gonna get reprinted. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe liquidated there. There's a lot of cards that could probably get reprinted that like, good opportunity to liquidate. Like, check this out. I don't know if Trident Dragon is gonna get reprinted before nationals or after nationals. I don't like know the math on the release date on the set. Damn, this card got. What the hell is this? Trolling to near mint, bro. Good thing this is only like 20 cents. Sheesh. I don't even, I'm not even complaining. You know, this is, oh, it's, it's not near mint. You said near mint. Like, bro, like, I'm not saying it's subjective, but like, I ain't tripping. Unless the, unless the card is like ridiculously bent. Like, non-playable, and then you said it was near mint, that I'm like, yo, I'm not going to call you out on it. I don't really care. So, yeah, what do you think about these penny stocks? Would you be sleeving these penny stocks? Would you just be putting these in your freaking 5K boxes and just storing them away? Honestly, guys, like, I see cards, and I'm like, yo, those cards are super cheap, and they probably, they probably won't be that cheap again. I'm going to say that again. I see cards... <clears throat> And I'm like, yo, these cards are undervalued. They're cheap. I don't think these cards will ever be this cheap again in this quantity. Um, now is probably the uh, like the, now is the time to like go in on the set. That's why like, like man, I'm not trying to like hold on to like a hundred skull Meisters. I'm not trying to chill with a hundred red eyes dark dragoons long term. I'm not trying to buy these and hold them for ten years. But like, this is what i gotta do like you know like squirrels they collect nuts and bury them for the winter like that's this that's what i do like i collect cards bury them for the winter and when they go up i flip like you know what i mean like, i flip cards like there you go i flip cards but um i don't know guys i do short-term flipping and i do long-term flipping but like i'm more into long-term flipping like like let's say try to drag you on i looked through my bulk and i had two I sold one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hold on to two Trident Dragon. So, like, there's cards where I'm short term flipping and there's cards where I'm long term flipping. Like, these underworld goddesses, I doubt they're going to go like crazy high or anything. But I am holding on to about 100 copies. You understand, my boys? Um, because that new support's coming out. Like, when you have information on new support, like, yo, like, this is, this is like insider trading. Like, yo, like, okay. When new underworld goddess support is coming out, right? They reprinted her in the rarity collection. Like potentially you may need her, especially with the Fiend Smiths. I doubt people are gonna play her or whatever, but if we could even go to a dollar, if we could turn 20 cents into a dollar 100 times, I don't even know the math on that. Let me see. Well, you multiply your dollar by five, so like if you, I don't even know. I might be able to turn this into like, I really don't know. My next video, I'm gonna do the math too. I'm like, look guys, I'm gonna sit down with the calculator. I'm gonna do the math. Like, is it really worth investing in penny stocks and long-term holding? I'm gonna tell y'all guys something. Y'all probably won't believe me, but I don't I don't really care to lie or anything. Um, like 10 years ago, like when Trident Dragon got reprinted, I think I reprinted like the legendary collection as a secret rare or something. And when it got reprinted or something, uh, it was like a dollar at one point because no one was using it. And I was like, I would buy blue eyes, white dragons. I would buy red eyes, black dragons, and I would sell them. Like I'd buy them for a dollar and I'd sell them for five. You know, uh, that's just the hustle that people, like I'll, I'll buy Exodia and resell it for 20. Like, y'all hate me, y'all hate me, it's whatever. This is a business, you know. Um, like I'm just trying to make cash, you know, that's what I do. I'm trying to figure out what I was saying, I lost. Focus. I'm over here sorting cards and then telling stories. Oh, so I picked up Trident Dragons like literally like at <coughs> <coughs> literally like at dollars, and then they're going for like a hundred. So that story alone, with that knowledge in mind from my past experience, I know to just buy hundreds of cards. Have a hundred. Imagine if I had bought a hundred Trident Dragons ten years ago. For one dollar at a hundred dollars, so I'd buy a hundred Trident Dragons for a hundred dollars. That's like Bitcoin. So, guys, 
I'm almost at the end of this video because I'm I'm not almost out of sleeves, but I could be here ranting and talking about Yu-Gi-Oh all day. Let me know what you guys think. I do have a rarity collection market watch coming soon. That requires me to sit next to a computer, get my mic out, get my webcam out, and um, look at some prices. It requires a lot of brain power and physical power. I will be getting to it soon, guys. I promise it to y'all. I'm going to get that to y'all. But uh, I'm going to just continue sleeving these up, and then I'm going to cut the video. What is this video? At? Like, Are we at like a... I, I have no idea. I think we're like at 15 minutes. This is probably like one of my longest videos from a while but if y'all guys really want to like personally know me and stuff there's gonna be these videos and these videos just gonna have a lot of information about what i'm doing what i'm investing in how's my life um just if you're a fan you know so i appreciate everyone for watching you know if you're sorting cards or if you're driving or something should sure, maybe it'll give you something to do you know a while back this was like years ago i think this was in 2020 my girlfriend had broke up with me my ex-girlfriend and i ended up just i was living by myself it was very lonely and i had joined like i had been into cryptocurrency so i had joined all these crypto groups and like these guys never sleep there was always someone to talk to there was always a chat there was always guys talking about the price like there's always someone on discord like hey look at the price of bitcoin like 24 7. So with that community, I, I I went from feeling lonely to like, yo, like, man, I got friends. I got a community. Like, I got a family. You know what I mean? Now I got, like, I got a new girl and things are better. But at that time, it was very dark for me. And crypto and the community really made me feel like I had a family. And that's how I feel about Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, so if y'all guys feel lonely or... Y'all going through something like a breakup or money's hard or something, reach out to me. We could talk. We we'll talk about it. She ain't tripping. Um, or even if you have questions about your business or something, maybe we could talk. Maybe we could link up, do some videos. All right, guys. I just literally sorted maybe like, not sorted, but I did. These are like 100 cards in like 15 minutes. Reminisce on the past. Like, comment, and subscribe. There'll be more of these. Uh, definitely leave like a like or something just to let me know. Or like, comment taco at the end of the video so i can know you watch to the end and i'll remember you